everybody, Anthony here from Crazy Tech Lab and also welcome to those of you joining from over on Forbes. And I am recording today from my brand new video suite, as you can see behind me, lots of cool hardware in here and lots more regular videos to come as well. I emphasize the word regular there because I'm hoping to churn out lots more content on a regular basis, covering PC modding, hardware reviews, PC build guides, water cooling, all that kind of stuff. So lots more content coming my way, so coming your way rather. Uh, so make sure that you subscribe. And the first video that I will be shooting from my new studio is covering the Intel Core i9 9900KS. That's S for Sierra, not F for Foxtrot. Not to be confused with either of the other two eight core uh, 16 thread not, um, CPUs that are out there from Intel. This is brand new, launching today. Um, I'm only allowed to talk about the actual product and do, a, uh, do an unboxing. No performance numbers today, unfortunately. That will come later in the week. So again, make sure you subscribe or uh, check out my article over on Forbes because I'll be doing a full review over on Forbes on Wednesday this week. So what do we have here then? Uh, why is it so special um, and what is the 9900KS? Well, unless, unless you haven't been, unless you've been completely dead to the internet for the last couple of months, the 9900KS is Intel's first CPU to be able to turbo boost up to five gigahertz across all cores at the same time out of the box. So you'll get five gigahertz across all cores in multi-threaded uh, workloads out of the box. You don't need to do any tweaking apart from maybe a BIOS update as I found uh, in my testing uh, to get the most out of it. But um, you might say, well, the 9900K and 9900KF, KF being the one without integrated graphics, of course, which is a bit cheaper. Both of those CPUs can hit five gigahertz out of the box too, but the caveat is they can only do it on two cores, not eight like this baby can. So what benefit is, actually gonna, is that actually gonna give you and how does that stack up to the competition? Well, in lightly threaded workloads, it's not really gonna make that much of a difference because you've got two cores already boosting up to five gigahertz on the 9900K and KF already. So in light, lightly threaded workloads that use maybe sort of two or three cores, you're not really gonna see that much of a benefit uh, from the new CPU. Where you will see the benefit, of course, is in multi-threaded workloads, basically. So workloads that are using five, six, seven, eight cores at the same time, you've got an extra 300 megahertz on tap, basically, because the 9900K and KF would drop, down, would drop back to, I'm pretty sure it's 4.7 gigahertz under multi-threaded workloads. So a little bit more grunt there. Um, it's not enough for it to be, uh, you know, taking on the likes of AMD's Core i9, uh, sorry, Core i9, Ryzen 9, 99, uh, going all over the place here, Ryzen 9 3900X, um, for the simple reason that it's not gonna be able to keep up with a 12 core uh, simultaneously multi-threaded CPU. So, where does this product sit in the market? Well, I can't really talk about performance numbers, as I say, but it is kind of sitting at the top end of AMD, AMD, uh, Intel's mainstream lineup. Uh, it is gonna be the new flagship of Intel's mainstream lineup as well. So yeah, it's kind of um, a nice little kind of topper there. It's a few CPU like the 8086K was. Um, but if we just look inside the box, which I am allowed to do today, thankfully. It is the uh, the unboxing video today, and I have practiced this at home, so there we go. Um, as you can see, you get the, uh, is it a dodecahedron? I think it's a dodecahedron, the actual design of this uh, this funky box. And it is very funky. I'm glad I finally got one, because the, uh, the Core i9-9900K sample I've got, which I think is just about there, um, as you can see, just a, like a flat cardboard box. I was a tad disappointed that I didn't get one of these babies because I think they look really, really cool. And um, it's, uh, that's basically what you'll be getting uh, in the retail package as well, I think. Uh, no processor cooler, of course, because Intel hasn't produced anything in its mainstream coolers that would get close to be able to dealing with, uh, with one of these, I don't think. So you're gonna need some fairly beefy cooling. I was using a uh, EK Waterblocks uh, Predator 240, so a 240 millimeter fairly powerful AIO cooler to, uh, to deal with this uh, processor. And even then it did get pretty hot. Can't talk about actual figures and those kind of things. Um, so apart from the uh, slightly higher frequencies then, you've got a 127 watt TDP to deal with as well, which is what, around 30 watts higher than the 9900K I believe. So a little bit, uh, a little bit toastier under the collar. And um, what you're essentially getting really is a, uh, a quite a, a highly binned CPU from Intel. So 
The 9900K, obviously, a five gigahertz all-core overclock wasn't unreasonable. I've seen plenty of uh, samples out there that will do that. My one certainly did uh, with a fairly with a reasonable voltage. Um, and uh, yeah, it's not unheard of, not completely unheard of. You know, 4.8, 4.9 may be a bit more reasonable, um, but five gigahertz definitely on the cards, and that's essentially what you're getting out of the box here. So no tweaking five gigahertz straight out of the box. And that might appeal to people, especially gamers who just want that, you know, maximum frames per second all the time and don't care at all about multi-threaded performance in video editing and rendering and that kind of stuff. So, so it's, it kind of swings and roundabouts really. You'll get a little bit more, more performance in multi-threaded workloads. You might get, you know, the odd frame per second, uh, frame rate increase here and there. But really, it's just about getting a uh, you know a higher performing CPU, and um, basically, there's lots of uh, people saying that they've got 5.1, 5.2 gigahertz um, uh, out of the box here. Um, I'm not entirely sure whether I can uh, I can talk about uh, what I uh, got um, in terms of figures, so I'll keep my mouth closed for now. But I will say it was one of those two figures that I managed as well. Um, did run fairly hot um, under the collar, as I say, but. You'll have to wait till uh, later this week when I go over all the performance numbers and overclocking and all that kind of stuff. So be sure to, to check out my article over on Forbes where I'll be doing a full review. And um, no unboxing is uh, complete without going all the way in. And uh, thankfully I have practiced this because this uh, box was a little challenging to, to actually get into initially. Um, so as you, as you can see, no cooler in the box. You will need to buy some sort of cooler to actually work with the CPU. And um, as I have said, uh, I will offer a bit of advice for anyone that's thinking of buying this. You will probably need to update your motherboard. Um, I'm not saying that it won't, uh, your motherboard won't run at all with this CPU in, but because it's a, a later generation, uh, ninth gen series CPU, you might run into stability issues. Uh, but not least of all, um, I know MSI for one actually has a BIOS dedicated for the 9900KS, so it's definitely worth uh, dropping that onto your motherboard and making sure that you're running it just to make sure that you get the best performance There'll probably be plenty of discussion out there about that as well. So that's it for me um, I'm only allowed to do an unboxing today, but thanks for watching. Welcome to the brand new crazy tech lab and um, Don't forget to subscribe as I say plenty more regu uh, regular content coming your way So thanks for watching and see you soon